submitting your website to DMOZ, also known as the Open Directory Project. This video is on how to suggest a site to the Open Directory, which is also called DMOZ, dmoz.org. So what we do is we go to dmoz.org, and in this case I'm just looking at the directions on adding a, a site. And so what you'll do here is you will read down the directions real quickly, and first in step one it tells you what not to do. So be very careful that you don't submit one of these sites that is not supposed to be submitted, and also make sure that you do a quick search in the dmoz.org directory, and you'll also see um, not only if that site is listed, which you'd probably know because it's your site, but you'll also identify the um, best category for your site. So to do this, what we'll do is, and, and I wanted to show you also that because many people wonder how many categories can my site be listed in and the answer is maybe one, maybe several, but the DMOZ editors will go in and actually look at your content so it doesn't matter what your competitors are doing they will actually look at the content on your site they will determine the best category if it is not the one that you have and or they may put your site in other directory listings as well so what we can do is go over to the open directory and for in this situation if I put in pet grooming and I already did this so you can see the results there but we'll get that back again and so that comes back basically okay so we're at the So we're at the DMOZ search box, and what I'll put in is dog grooming. This is our example. And notice that I get back recreation, pets, dogs as the first one. Okay, that's interesting. But say that I went over to Google, and I just Googled dog grooming. Okay, if I do that, one of the first listings will be groomers.com. So with that, I can actually go back to DMOZ and I could put in groomers.com and notice that I get back recreation, pets, dogs, grooming. Okay, that's important because before it only went as far as dogs and now it's taking it to grooming. So by looking at a competitor of yours, you can see where they've listed themselves. Now another way to do this is you can also go to SpyFu, which is at spyfu.org, or excuse me, spyfu.com, and you could enter in groomers.com. And then you get all sorts of AdWords and keywords and stats and things like that, organic and advertised and also down at the bottom, notice that you will find out how it is actually listed in DMOZ. So that's another way to try this using SpyFu, and this is just the free flavor of SpyFu. Once you know that, you can go back over here and we can go into the open directory. And once you've actually found where you want your listing to be, which was here, then you click on that and what's critical is you want to look at the top where and see if it says suggest URL now not all of them all of the DMOZ pages or categories will allow you to do this but you want to make sure that the category you pick does allow you to suggest and then once it does then you click that and now you can submit 
your site to open directory. So you go down here, you put in your URL, you put in the title of your site, and if you want to know uh, what that will be, you can look at the the meta tags title related video that we have. And also for the description, you can look at the meta tags description video that again is a related page to this one. Put in your email address, put in the user verification, and you're off. And then they will evaluate it. And remember, you don't want to make it too salesy because they actually warn you about that. If it looks like it's too marketing-ish, they will not allow it to be in the directory. So you want to write it kind of vanilla, uh, the way you put in your description for this. All right, well, that's it. That's how you do, how you submit a website to the open directory. And that will be the first one that you'll do. And then you'll go on and submit your site directly to some of the search engines like Google, Yahoo, and Live. Take care and good luck.